A Counter Blast to Tobacco, Wikipedia Article Audio A Counter Blast to Tobacco is a treatise written by King James VI of Scotland and I of England in 1604, in which he expresses his distaste for tobacco, particularly tobacco smoking. As such, it is one of the earliest anti-tobacco publications. It is written in early modern English and refers to medical theories of the time. In it, James blames Native Americans for bringing tobacco to Europe, complains about passive smoking, warns of dangers to the lungs, and decries tobacco's odor as hateful to the nose. Style and Content Effects and Legacy James's dislike of tobacco led him in 1604 to authorize Thomas Sackville, 1st Earl of Dorset, to levy an excise tax and tariff of six shillings and eight pence per pound of tobacco imported, or one pound per three pounds, a large sum of money for the time. Because of continued high demand for tobacco in England and negative effects on the economies of the American colonies, the king in 1624 instead created a royal monopoly for the crop. 150 years later, British utilitarian philosopher Jeremy Bentham would cite a counter-blast to tobacco as an example of antipathy run wild. Have you not reason then to be ashamed, and to forbear this filth and novelty, so basely grounded? so foolishly received and so grossly mistaken in the right use thereof? In your abuse thereof sinning against God, harming yourselves both in persons and goods, and raking also thereby the marks and notes of vanity upon you, by the custom thereof making yourselves to be wondered at by all foreign civil nations, and by all strangers that come among you, to be scorned and contemned. A custom loathsome to the eye, hateful to the nose, harmful to the brain, dangerous to the lungs, and in the blackest stinking fume thereof, nearest resembling the horrible Stygian smoke of the pit that is bottomless. Quotation